This will serve as the instruction manual for the Tesla battery module monitor. This is the device. Yours may look slightly different by the time you get this video. There is a USB-C connector on the bottom here. It's a little bit fiddly to get to. I recommend taking the cable, putting it in there and leaving it there. Note to self, pre-install and sell these cables with it. <clears throat> and then I usually take a USB power brick like this. You can plug it into the wall or whatever, but this thing makes it nice and portable. When it comes up, it'll say no modules. Like that. Software may look a little different by the time you get it, but that's the general idea. Also, this cable will be attached, but in case it's not, it goes into the black port B. There it goes. As soon as you plug it into a Tesla battery module, and I just plug it in deep enough to start working, but not so deep that the detent latches, you'll get the full display like that. It's telling you that there's one battery module seen, the pack voltage total, all six modules, high and low battery cells, battery groups anyway, uh, the differential, and then temperatures, just to make sure everything is working. If you turn the dial to the next page, and sometimes it takes a couple of turns, you'll see all of the individual cell voltages. When you're done, you can even leave it in the power, unplug it gently, carefully. The last settings will still remain on the screen, but when you plug it into another battery module, you'll get those readings. That's really all there is to it. Be careful with this cable. Do not dangle the stand by the cable or swing it around or let your dog chew on it. It is uh, fairly delicate. So the other connectors on here are not populated, just a USB-C. And uh, there will be software updates available over the internet. Plug it into your computer onto the web page I'll send you and you can get the latest software update. Uh, it will continue to evolve as I refine this process. Thanks for watching.